Female sexuality in the Greek culture has morphed through time from a motherly figure to a sexual identity. This transition has shifted, has shifted to give and keep men in power and diminish the role of women. In the Bronze Age, the women, women were magical and mysterious. They were depicted as, in art as powerful beings capable of incredible things, such as giving life. However, the classical age forces the idea of women as inferior, passive, and submissive. Stemming from Plato and Aristotle's depiction of the goddesses Aphrodite, goddess Aphrodite and the genitals of the male and female gender. Plato proposed two forms of Aphrodite, Oranos, which is a brotherly non-sexual love between two men, and Pandanos, the sexual female. With Aristotle, the image of Aphrodite starts to change from a powerful goddess to an object of attraction. Aristotle dug into the physical characteristics of men and women and described the vagina as a malformed penis. Therefore, the idea that men and penises are dominant and women their vaginas are inferior furthers the misfortune of women and their sexual identity. In fact, women were believed to be irrational because periods made them hysterical and suicidal, and men must have sex with their wives to keep the moods in control. Fashion followed the ideology, and rope was used to keep the uterus from traveling across the body, creating an empire waistline. Prostitution was used as another form to control women's sexual identity, and in classical Greece, it was popular for prostitutes. I wish I had that dress. Actually, I wish I had the body to have that dress. The views of women in today's society are still heavily influenced by the ancient Greeks. Women are put on a pedestal for the male desires. This is heavily seen through ads, clothing stores, news articles, and other social media. As you can see in this photo, Madison is trying to compare herself to a model that has been heavily influenced by the male desires, even though she herself is an attractive young woman. In conclusion, this body image towards women that Greek men have made leads to women feeling like they have to have this unattainable body. This makes women feel as if they're not beautiful if they don't have this type of body. Women feel pressured to look like this image, and if you do not look like this, you are criticized. For example, Morgan has observed different looks towards her thighs and her chest. This makes her feel as if she's being compared to traditional Greek women. We have personally noticed that homosexual women tend to not care as much about their body type since there is no male to impress. They are feeling as pressured as a heterosexual woman. Since then, women have been creating unhealthy paths to attain this body image by wearing corsets and body wraps. The negative consequences leads to feeling inadequate as, as if we are and our sexual identity is the most important thing we are here to offer.